Welcome back to TN Backyard Gardening. My name is Justin and today I'm going to take you on a walk around the property and show you what's happening. Okay, so the first the first thing that's new is I got a microphone adapter for my GoPro as well as a different case. So now I've got the media set up on the GoPro instead of using the internal microphone which is great. You're not going to hear all sorts of scratching noises anymore. The audio clarity is going to be better. But anyway, so I remember saying I was going to be adding a second rack. Well, I have finally added a second rack. I've moved things a little bit. Um, so we'll go through these. Uh, right here, I have Gladiator Romas, Italian Basil, uh, Triple Crops, in the seed starting in the seed video I talked about these I started these two weeks ago two and a half weeks ago banana peppers tabascos jalapenos bell peppers more jalapenos and then behind that here's habaneros down there is my stevia two trays of onions ghost peppers here um, I recorded a video where I was planting these but for some reason the video files got corrupted so anyway so ghost peppers there I have two trays of Carolina Reapers this is a tray of poblanos I need to plant more of these poblanos Poblanos and bell peppers are probably my two top peppers. Um, down here, these are all seeds that are going to be primarily intended for selling at the market. We've got the steak sandwich hybrids that I was telling you about. I had like eight packs of those. I have uh, two trays of beef steak tomatoes and one tray of cherry tomatoes. So that's kind of what's happening inside right now that's an empty tray these six down here are empty trays I've gone ahead and prepped those full of my soil so that I can just grab them put seeds in them and put a dusting of soil on the top whenever I'm ready to plant uh, so everything kind of fits nice and neat on my two racks here even though I already feel like I'm outgrowing it. There's a kitty. Uh, a couple more things that are inside that I'm going to have to take out. I've got some asparagus roots. I need to build a raised bed for those. Um, I've got two seedless concord vines and a raspberry bush. Now let's go ahead and go out to the front where I've got more stuff. <laughs> this is stuff I don't think you guys have seen this year yet. So let's go take a look. Okay, so right down here I've got a couple of elderberry uh, that I need to put out you see they've started coming back again now these were bought last spring or early summer and I never got a chance to put them out I'm glad that they've started growing again so we're gonna find somewhere to put those here underneath the porch we've been having a lot of rain lately so I've been keeping my my soil mix for planting seeds underneath the porch which has an awning here's one of my cherry trees this is doing really well looks like we might even get some cherries this year on it uh, there's another cherry tree over here now one of these is Bing, and I think the other one might be Rainier cherries. I got a couple of sweet cherry varieties that I knew would pollinate each other. B 
because for pretty much all the cherry varieties you have to have another type that will pollinate it uh, figs number one figs number two and for all y'all people who really go crazy over dandelions and stuff like that there you go figs number three now this is the first fig that I'm starting to actually see growth on and there's figs number four random thought but with the weather here lately it ain't pretty but that's what I call my tornado shelter down there under the road here is my apple tree one of them these are honey crisp apples they call them uh, Manzano Honeycrisp. Starting to get some growth on those. Red Delicious. And if you guys didn't know, Manzano is basically just a Spanish word for apple. So if you go into a convenience store like a Hispanic convenience store and you ask for Manzana they're probably going to give you some apple juice uh, blackberry bush here we uh, you know I mow this thing I mow down around the perimeters here every year and it just seems to keep getting stronger I may try to take some canes for this and move them somewhere else um, but they grow a lot so a couple more things right here on the front that's a grapevine but this is a chinese privet hedge and i have cut this thing down to the ground multiple times and it keeps coming back up unfortunately the grapevine is right there in between all the mess of the privet so I'm gonna have to cut this privet down and probably try to move the grapevine if I can because this is just a real crappy place for it and then here is my peach tree this has already flowered looks like the flowers are dying back now they were nice and light pink and white and now they're almost purple or maroon colored and they're starting to get a lot of leaves on it so real pleased with that it looks like I may get some off of this this year this tree was probably about four feet when I planted it and now it's probably eight or so I'm not sure which video is gonna come out first this one or the raised bed construction but they're gonna have some overlapping either way so what you see in the back of my truck here this is my second haul of the year so far first haul i had 40 bags of the topsoil a few bags of soil conditioner and a big load of pallets you can see here and then some bricks so i'll go ahead and walk you back here real quick the pallets i'm going to take those apart and use most of them to build raised beds with though five or six of them are going to actually be for a compost bin which you see the traditional three bay compost so here's a raised bed that i put together this raised bed is going to be primarily for onions and maybe some garlic if i have enough room i'm letting it sit for a little bit just to see if i can't get some of that uh breakdown action going because this topsoil is mainly wood based it turns into really great dirt it just takes a little time uh, here's my alliums these uh, back row here these are onions I got a few that are popping up but some of them aren't doing too great I just figured I'd try those uh, garlic's doing a little bit better I've got some that are coming back up this one here and you see the roots are down in there Let's see if I can see what this looks like on the inside yeah so 
we're not root bound by any means but you can see kind of how deep these garlic roots want to go as this is what they call a trade gallon pot I call it the six inch pot so out of these I've got one two three four five that have come back real nice and good this one's coming back up there's some green in there too so we just need to give these guys a little bit more time they seem to be doing okay but they've gone dormant for the winter um, over here more garlic so here's some of the strawberries that I had left over from last year that didn't die um, I didn't take as good a care of them as I should have but these are gonna have a better home so so the holes in these bricks I'm gonna fill all those with dirt and I'm probably gonna use those for the strawberry planters those holes are gonna be a little bit bigger than those trade gallon pots that the strawberries are in right now and I may use some of these for flowers as well I need to research you know do bees like to be around onions and whatnot because onions only flower the second year. So let's go in through here. So the garden is uh, a little overgrown, as you can see, but it's coming. I'm primarily working on this area right down here. Some of this stuff is really stubborn. Let's come up here. See, look at that. That stuff's grown up in a matter of two weeks like that here is the well it's clearly getting a little bit too hot for these because these greens are trying to go to seed we're not even to the last frost yet but my greens are trying to go to seed this looks like poke salad I think that the crazy amount of rain that we got has almost done my peas in so I may have to try the greens again this fall I didn't expect them to go to seed this early so I'll probably just come in here with the lawnmower and mow all this down to the ground and get this uh, garden ready for the spring Back there you can see the frame for my hoop house I bought plastic for it but I don't think I'm gonna uh, I don't think I'm gonna close it in this year I'm gonna do some planning and see what I can do better with it next year it's still full of weeds right now because I didn't cover the ground that's my fault probably what I'll do is cover the ground with cardboard and then throw a bunch of mulch on it that way I'm not putting something on it that won't degrade over time but it'll still give me a few years of uh, no weeds uh, over here that's my little green tractor that I was talking about in the raised bed video that didn't work I have since then fixed it a couple of buckets that had serrano peppers in them right now it looks like they've got chickweed and mess in them that was that was a stevia plant I think up here up here we've got some stuff that I I bought uh oh looks like my my basils some of these basil leaves didn't handle the cold last night too well we're supposed to get really cool so I'm gonna start bringing some of this stuff in but anyway so lemon balm here a couple of garik oregano I want to say this is what is this parsley these are mr. stripey tomatoes one of the things that I've noticed this year is that burpee and Ferry Morrison seed companies have started selling seeds for some of the different things that they never really used to grow. So, got a couple Mr. Stripey tomatoes. Here is English thyme, peppermint. I only bought one peppermint because that stuff goes like crazy. Got a couple of Italian oregano. This is sweet basil. 
rosemary behind that this is my uh, romaine lettuce you guys have probably seen already back behind there now this is some um, bonnie spinach that i moved out of the small cups because it was root bound like crazy but it seems to be doing well and there is some brussels sprouts i got a couple little things here these are brussels i planted these like a month and a half ago i just don't have good luck with seeds not for brassicas anyway so probably just do away with those trays use them for something else right here we've got another thing of ever bearing strawberries i like getting them like this because this whole thing is ten dollars and you get i think there's seven plants in it so like something tried to get after this one so i'm going to separate those strawberries into their own cups i don't know if i'll pinch these runners off or give them a pile of dirt here is my what is this sage yeah some sage that i planted from seed uh cauliflower once again not doing well here is some spinach that i figured i'd just try once again this is cilantro I need to move those into bigger pots probably well, I don't see any roots poking out through the bottom yet so we'll give them some more time and here is broccoli see I had a whole tray now I have one and I don't know why they died I just don't have luck with them I can't get them any bigger than this and they start doing this stupid little thing where the stem gets really tiny and then starts growing out again. So, that's kind of what's going on right now. Um, at some point in time this week, before I go back to open my shop, I need to unload the truck, get all that stuff out, stack it up, and I want to start tearing down some of those pallets. Just maybe start planting some more raised beds because there are certain things that will just grow better in raised beds especially if you've got a lot of weeds around basically any kind of root crop i'm thinking about doing some potato bins like uh, boxes where you can just pull one side off to harvest your potatoes i think that'd be cool you know maybe do like two foot by two foot you know get some measurements on there i'll bring you guys along when i do that but yeah so for those of you who are watching my videos i really appreciate it uh gardening is one of my passions i love doing it i'm not very good at it sometimes but that doesn't stop me from trying and this is one of those few things that i have found in my life that it does not matter how many times i fail at it i just pick up and i keep going i keep trying again so there's great communities out there. I've talked to some of you guys before on Facebook groups and whatnot, and I appreciate your feedback. I appreciate your friendship and all the fellowship that I get. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Leave me a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video.